To download Dot3D onto an Android device, it is first recommended that you download Mozilla Firefox from the Google Play Store. So we're searching for Firefox and pressing the button to install. This is recommended because if you download from another browser such as Google Chrome, we are sometimes seeing the file extension change during the download process. If that happens, you want to change it to .apk manually. But if you do it through Firefox like we're doing now, you won't run into that issue. So from within Firefox, you want to navigate to .product3d.com slash .3d download to access the latest version of .3d. Now that we've accessed the .3d download page, we can scroll down and select download .3d for Android and follow the prompts. When you press download, it'll begin downloading onto your device. If you swipe down from the top of your screen, you can see the progress of the download in this case, .3D 4.0.2. Once that finishes downloading, we want to open up our file management app, in this case called My Files on my Samsung tablet, and go to the Downloads folder. And then select the .3D, and it'll prompt you to allow installation from unknown sources, and then press Install. Once it finishes installing, you can press Open to open .3D on your device. You want to proceed through each of these prompts, granting full access to your device for .3D. And then to activate, you will want to enter your license key, which was likely delivered to you via email. You can copy and paste it directly from that email on your tablet or phone into .3D. Then press use this key and accept any remaining prompts to grant full access to .3D. Now our install of .3D is fully licensed and activated, and if this is a license of .3D Scan, .3DX, or .3D Pro, you will want to plug in your 3D camera. So before we finish up here, we're going to plug in our Intel RealSense D455 depth camera and confirm everything is working. Looks like our D455 has been properly recognized by Android, and we're going to press OK, but, but not check the box to always open .3D when connected, as that can sometimes cause some issues on Android. Our install of .3D is now fully licensed and ready for our first scan by pressing the New Scan button in the top left. If you also have a calibration file you need to load for your particular camera, typically the DPI-10, DPI-10SR, or D455, you'll want to load that file or multiple calibration files into your calibrations folder, again via your file management app such as My Files. The location to place that calibration file is inside the .3D folder, and in there there is a folder called Calibrations. Once you've added all of your calibration files into that folder, they should automatically load every time that camera is plugged in. If you want to confirm that manually, you can also go to the Settings tab in .3D, navigate to Sensors and Cameras, and select the button to Scan Calibration Folder.